Hi guys, in this video I am going to explain how much the amount of ICAR, UG, PG, PhD scholarship uh, along with uh, CSIR and UGC net. So I am going to explain this video without editing. So please listen this video until the end. So first I am coming to ICAR, UG fellowship. After completing your 12th standard, common university entrance test, I think so, CUET exam will be conducted by um, NTA. So you will write the exam and the ICR will conduct online counselling. If you get seat through ICR counselling, you will be applicable to this fellowship. The fellowship amount is 3,100 per month. Okay. This is not applicable to any state university student. Like if you completed your 12th standard, you got admission in your state university through direct counselling or any other entrance test. This 3,100 rupees per month will not come to you this is only applicable to ICR student then I am coming to IRA fellowship any uh, special fellowship available for UG in IRA I think no because all over the India if you get any university through ICR uh, counseling 3100 rupees per month is constant now I am coming to ICR PG fellowship so this fellowship is very for ICR all the uh, all the state university except IARI New Delhi and their hub okay so first I am going to tell ICR fellowship for all the other university so if you get fellowship uh, for JRF I mean for example you uh, totally 200 student are selected for uh, what uh, particular subject or particular subject group like uh, plant science or physical science okay totally top 200 members are selected for this subject group uh, how many peoples will get ICR JRF fellowship JRF fellowship is monthly 12,600 okay for them only top 15 or 10 students only selected for that 12,600 rupees then what about remaining um, for example, out of the 200, 185 members are left because that 15 members already getting 12,600 rupees. They are the top 15 rankers. Remaining 185 members will get NTS, National Talent Scholarship. That amount is 5,000 per month. Okay. So, how this top 15 members or 10 members are uh, selected? This is based on category like um, unreserved EWS OBC SC ST and uh, availability of total number of seats so if you getting the top rank of unreserved first three rank they will get the uh, they will selected as a JRF member and if you get OBC top rank SC, stop, uh, SC top rank EWS top rank ST top rank so you will be selected in the top 10 or 15 portion so you will get 12,600 per month and if you are not, uh, not selected as a top uh, 15 rank, so remaining peoples will get rupees 5000. But one particular rule is you should be selected through ICR counseling. Then, sir, what about other student? Those who studied uh, their um, UG in their state university and they doing their PG in their state universities like if I studied in Tamil Nadu and I am again doing my PG in Tamil Nadu will I get any scholarship no I won't get any uh, scholarship because I'm belonging to same domicile if you want to get fellowship you should not studying the same domicile if I am Tamil Nadu other than Tamil Nadu if I study like Kerala New Delhi or Punjab I will get the fellowship if I again study in Tamil Nadu Agriculture University there is no chance of getting fellowship so this is one rule and another rule is this is only applicable to ICR uh, students uh, the student who got through ICR counseling if you are not getting through ICR counseling you won't applicable to this and what is the uh, contingency amount the contingency amount is 6000 per year for both ICR JRF fellows that is top 15 rankers and other student like 5000 per month they are getting no NTS scholarship they also will get rupees 6000 per year then another doubt will rise 
how many days after i will get fellowship now imagine you you are getting uh, your seat in january month it will take nearly 10 months to what um, getting your first scholarship uh, it won't come single single month it will come bulkily uh, bulky 10 month scholarship okay and now i'm coming to ira fellowship okay now um, if you are top ranker top 15 ranker you get admission in in ira okay how much you will get because top 15 rankers will get 12600 rupees all over india including ira so your top if you are a top ranker your fellowship is 12600 per month everywhere in india other than your state domicile okay then what about nts i am not top ranker but um, i i am very what lowest rank but i got in iara or iara hub like hub means iara branches like assam baramati or um, jharkhand um, ikrisat not ikrisat i mean uh, krida many things there under iara if you get there also the same amount will come then yeah i forgot to tell about the nts national talent scholarship available for ira student no there is no nts scholarship for ira student but there is a special institutional fellowship there this ira student other than top 15 ranker will get rupees 7500 per month if you are not top ranker you will get 7500 rupees per month okay but this is applicable to only ira student this is ira institutional fellowship I think you would have completely understood this concept. If you are getting any confusion, please comment. Okay. Then I am coming to ICA or SRF that is PhD. For PG that is JRF. For PhD that is SRF. So how much is the SRF amount? The same example. For 100 students they are getting um, seat through ICA Not any state agriculture university entrance test or direct admission. If you get through ICR counseling, if your rank is top 15 or top 10, this top 10 people are also selected based on the category and as well as um, the number of seats available. If you are studying PhD, top rank, uh, like if you are top 10 rank means uh, the amount is 37,000 per month you will get for PhD scholarship as a SRF uh, fellowship. But if you get other than the top 15 rank like out of 100 people 15 members getting 37,000 what about remaining 85 members will they get any NTS scholarship national talent scholarship no you won't get any scholarship if you get other than top 15 or 10, uh, 10 rank why I don't know then how we can manage that we have to use our own money to uh, studying the PhD there is no scholarship if you get other than 15 rank or top 10 rank or your uh, category top rank then okay this is for other universities what about IARA IARA is always special right so in IARA if you get top 15 rank you will be coming under ICR SRF it will covered under ICR scholarship if you get other than top 15 members like other uh, 85 members if you get uh, seat in that uh, 85 members uh, like if you are even last ranker also if you got seat in uh, IRA you will get institutional fellowship of rupees um, how much that is 31,000 per month okay that's why IRA is always special everyone target uh, IRA for PhD doing PhD because we need no need to spend uh, our uh, what expenses uh, every fellow what everyone will get IC, IRA fellowship okay now you understood again I'm explaining if ICR SRF means you will get 37,000 rupees per month all over the India including IRA if you are getting other than the top 15 members you won't get any fellowship in all over India except IRA because IRA is providing uh, institutional fellowship rupees 31,000 per month. Okay, now coming to um, 
contingency amount how much is the contingency amount for uh, icr student 10000 per year okay how much is the contingency amount of uh, iri fellowship for them also 10000 rupees per year okay here one rule is applicable for I icr srf members that is the top 15 rankers so first two years they will get 37000 per month okay from third year onwards they will get 42000 per month so this fellowship duration is 3 years only so for that 3 years they will get first two years 37000 next last year is 42000 then what about ira scholarship for whole 3 year you will get 30000 31000 per uh, per month okay okay sir you told about iri and icr fellowship for iri only 31000 for whole 3 year uh, for icr uh, 37000 for first 2 years and 42000 for last year then what about other university students what can i do like that if you ask i am giving you idea don't worry if you are studying msc you can eligible for ugc net and csir net uh, entrance what uh, net and jr fellowship so if you write this exam if you clear this exam at the top score like for example ugc net they will set two cut off mark one for net one for jr this net cut off if you cross this net cut off you will be eligible for assistant assistant professor okay so if you cross the second cut off that is higher higher than this net cut off that is jrf uh, cut off okay if you cross this jrf cut off you will be covered under ugc net scholarship so what is the advantage of ugc net scholarship this is more than the icr first two years uh, actually this uh, ugc net csir net bpt uh, dst inspire fellowship these are all the same amount only this duration is 5 years okay this ugc csir dpt uh, inspire fellowship and um, these things uh, is uh, total duration is 5 years okay in this 5 years first 2 years for um, uh, that is called jrf okay first 2 years you will be given 37000 per month remaining next 3 years you will get 42000 per month okay so how much is the contingency amount for them 12000 uh, per year for 2 years okay first 2 years you will get 12000 per year uh, for contingency and another 3 years you will get rupees uh, 25000 per year okay remaining 3 years okay then how it is applicable okay Uh, UGC, uh, UGC, CSIR, anything I didn't clear during my MSc. Can I write during my PhD? Yes, you can write during your PhD. Now, imagine you are studying PhD second year. Now you are writing um, UGC net. You cleared during your second year. Then how many years I will get from second year onwards till the five years? Okay, second year. third year fourth year fifth year sixth year seventh year but you won't study seven years until you completing you will get ugc fellowship okay but icr fellowship will complete third year itself then after fourth if you going for fourth or fifth year you won't get any fellowship same for ira fellowship if you crossing third year you won't get fellowship so this ugc csir this type of fellowship is very very important if you clear if you want any duration to study phd more so if you are getting this fellowship that is very advantage for 5 years okay as soon as possible try to clear ugc that's uh, then only the first 2 years will go and uh, third year onwards you will start getting uh, what uh, 42000 and uh, any hre house rent allowances uh, available for icr sr fellowship that is the top 10 or 15 uh, members no there is no hra even though if the hra available for hostel students there is no hra and for ira fellowship also there is no hra 
but in UGC, CSIR and other types of fellowship you will get HRA amount um, rupees 10,000 few of my friends got 10,000 rupees for HRA so totally per month they are getting 47,000 ok 37,000 um, per month scholarship along with HRA per month 10,000 so they are getting 47,000 per month for UGC and CSIR I am telling so I have explained it clearly Mm. and this scholarship all the scholarship except this UGC, CSIR, DPT, DST this kind of fellowship is not applicable uh, now I am going to tell uh, those who are studying their domicile like I am from Tamil Nadu if I do my PG, PhD in Tamil Nadu I will not get ICR fellowship ok I won't get ICR fellowship even though I even though I am getting seat through ICR counselling but I am joining, joining in my native, I won't get any fellowship. But if I am getting a seat through ICR fellowship, other states, other than my domicile, I will get fellowship. Then sir, what about UGC, CSIR and other type of fellowship? Yes, you will get even though you are studying in your state, um, state agriculture university or your domicile area. So this is the advantage. If you are, if I am from Tamil Nadu, if I joined in my state university, uh, now I am getting UGC fellowship means, yeah, I am applicable. I will, I can get, but I can't get uh, ICR fellowship even though I am admitted through ICR. So if any other doubt means, you can comment. Uh, I will reply as soon as possible.